Hey Travis kiddos, if you've been building up with me, starting with race to zero or race from 100 and practicing the regrouping for subtraction, you can find those videos in the description below. If you've been building up with me with those, you are ready to do some subtraction with regrouping. I wanna show you a couple of examples why we build up to this from those other activities. So let's get started. You're gonna need your whiteboard materials, a marker, a board, and some kind of eraser. And if you'd like, you can use some base 10 blocks. So let's start with this first problem, 54 minus five. So we are gonna do some vertical subtraction, 54 minus five. Now notice I spaced the numbers out a little bit. These will be my tens, these will be my ones. Now, I space them out a little bit because when I do regrouping, I'm gonna need some space. Now, I could build this with my base 10 blocks or I can draw a picture of what 54 will look like. Here are my base 10 blocks, here's the picture. Same thing, I'm just showing you both at the same time. Now, you might find it easier to use one or the other, but go with what you need. So here, I always, 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 always start with the ones. Never, 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 never start with the tens. I'm gonna start with the ones, and I need to do four minus five. Do I have enough ones here to subtract four minus five? I don't. I only have one, two, three, four. And remember, I can't break this. <laughs> I'm gonna need some other ones. Can I just do five minus four? Nope. I don't have those ones. We don't subtract up. We don't subtract backwards. I don't have enough ones. So what I need to do is I need to regroup. So as we practiced with race to zero and the regrouping video, we need to trade a 10 for 10 ones. I always wanna make sure I'm doing an equal trade. So let me put 10 cubes aside. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Now, I'm gonna trade these 10 ones for a 10. Always an equal trade. Here, trade a 10 for 10 ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Always an equal trade. Now, what that looks like over here is I traded, so now instead of five tens, I have four. So four tens, and I traded, so instead of four ones, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Just double checking. So I have 14 ones. I can squeeze those 10 ones in here because I left space between the numbers. Now you see why I did that. So now 14 minus five, do I have enough ones to take away? I do, so I can take away one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I cross them out instead of erasing because I wanna keep track. If I make a mistake, I can still see the work. If I make a mistake with the cubes, I still have them here so I can double check, okay? Now, how many ones are left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 14 minus five is nine. Now, I have four tens, I'm not taking any away. I still have four tens. So 54 minus five equals 49. Let's try another one. Go ahead and get set up with me here. We're gonna do 70 minus seven. I have my seven tens, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven tens. So I have 70, my tens and my ones, and I'm gonna take away seven. So those are ones, I need to put them in the ones place. Zero minus seven, can I do it? Nope. Should I just do seven minus zero? Nah, can't subtract up, can't subtract backwards. I don't have seven ones here. I'm taking away seven ones. So what do I need to do? I need to regroup. Go ahead and see if you can regroup on your own. You can pause if you need to. Now, I have regrouped with my base 10 blocks and with my picture. I traded a 10 for 10 ones. 
here's my 10 off on the side, and I erased, I know I said cross out for the subtraction, but when I'm trading, I want to have a cleaner picture here. So one, two, three, four, five, six tens. So instead of seven, I have six tens, and I have 10 ones. Now can I take away ten, seven? I can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And if you already know this fact with your mental math, you can go ahead and fill it in. I'm left with three ones. I have six tens. There I'm left with 63. If I had started with the tens, I would have thought there were seven tens. So that's why we always, 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 always start with the ones in case we need to regroup. Now let's try another, but this time we're taking away tens and ones. So I've set up my base 10 blocks in my picture. I'm gonna set up my subtraction sentence vertically. So here, again, I have my tens and my ones. Where am I gonna start? Always, always, always with my ones. So I have six ones. I need to take away eight ones. Do I have enough? No way, Jose. I need to trade 10 for 10 ones. Go ahead and you trade 10 for 10 ones. Now, as you can see, I have traded my 10 for 10 ones, and here I've erased a 10 and put in my 10 ones. So, what does that look like over here? See if you can go ahead and show the work. I'm going to trade a 10 for 10 ones. So, I'm going to have 10 ones, so 16 ones, and now I only have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 tens. So 8 tens, 16 ones. Just like we practice regrouping, just showing the numbers. Instead of 9 tens, 6 ones, 8 tens, 16 ones. Now I can subtract 16 minus 8. I'm going to take away 8 ones, cross out 8 ones. And if you know your double stacks, 16 minus 8 is 8. Now, I'm not done this time because I also have some 10s to take away. I have 8. I'm taking away two 10s. So cross out two 10s. Notice here I didn't erase them because this time we're subtracting. And I'm going to take these two 10s away. And I am left with six 10s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Six tens, eight ones equals 68. So 96 minus 28 equals 68. Keep practicing all of that. We will keep working on it in class as well. And happy learning.